stress test that uh, people um, have to sit if they want to become Australian citizens. Now it's obviously if you're born in Australia then uh, you know you've got automatic citizenship but if you've come from another country and you want to stay and work and have all the rights of a citizen then you've got to sit this test and you've got to pass it. Uh, I believe the pass mark is 75% and uh, there's uh, in the test there's a hundred multiple choice questions and you're allowed 45 minutes to uh, complete the test. Now the great thing um, for this video is that by um, me running through these multiple choice uh, questions you will get a better understanding of Australia um, by as we uh, as we go through these questions or as I go through these questions and tell you the correct answer then they, the questions are a good overview of uh, what Australia is uh, is about how it was settled and how it's governed and all those other important things. Uh, when I first attempted this test, I think there was uh, 20 questions and I got 19 out of 20. This was just a, in a little online app and uh, I, I thought that wasn't too bad really. For myself it doesn't make any difference because I was born here and I um, yeah, they kind of stuck with me, I suppose. But uh, yeah, it's, it's only it's only important for um, people who want to become Australian citizens. Okay, so we'll go through the uh, the questions now. Start with the first one. I've got a uh, a stack of questions there which we might not get through by the end of the video, but anyway, we'll, we'll see how we go. Question one: Who were Australia's first inhabitants? is the correct answer. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Island people. And uh, quickly show you on my map of Australia, then the Aboriginal people were from the whole of Australia, including Tasmania. And uh, up here is the Torres Strait, north of Queensland, and there's islands. And the tip of Queensland there has uh, the Torres Strait Island people living there. Question 2. In Australia, how do you call the Federation of States? And the answer is called the Commonwealth of Australia. What is uh, the official symbol of Australia that identifies Commonwealth property? And answer C there is correct, which is the Commonwealth coat of arms and I've got a picture of the Commonwealth coat of arms there it's a bit blurry but there you can see there's a kangaroo an emu and Australia that looks like that's wattle flowers in the background and there's one two three four five six um, uh, six uh, flags from the uh, four six uh, states there's there emblem from the six of those states in that uh, shield in the middle. So that's the Commonwealth coat of arms. What is the official symbol of the Commonwealth of Australia? And once again, the Commonwealth coat of arms. Move the questions up a little bit. Identify. It identifies the uh, the six states and the federation. So it identifies the uh, there's those six states. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, in the middle there. Uh, that's the uh, identifies those six states that have come together to form the uh, Commonwealth of a 
Australia. Which of these statements about Australia's system of government is correct? And B, there is correct. The government is elected by the people. What are the three Australian flags? So we have got the Australian national flag, the Aboriginal flag, and the Torres Strait Islander flag. So the three flags. And I'll show you those flags in a second. Okay, the next page. What are the colours of the Australian national flag? And the answer is blue, white, and red. And the colours of the Australian national flag. And there's the national flag there. We've got the Union Jack. Blue, white, red. Um, the Southern Cross and the Commonwealth Star are the three things that make up the Australian national flag. Uh, what are the colours? The next question. What are the colours of the Australian Aboriginal flag? Black, red and yellow is the correct answer. And so this is the Aboriginal flag. The Indigenous Australians have their own flag. It's black red and it's a yellow so it's the black man on the red ground and there's the rising sun dawning on a new day for Aboriginal. Okay what are the colours of the Torres Strait Island flag? And there we go the Tolan oh wait tick I should answer the question first which is uh, green uh, green blue white and black is the correct answer. Before I show you the flag, the Torres Strait Islander flag, green, black, blue and white. And uh, yeah, that's the Torres Strait Islander flag. The next question, which of these are an example of a freedom of speech? Okay, first one there is an example of freedom of speech. People can peacefully protest against government decisions. And next one, which of these statements about government in Australia is correct? And B, the government in Australia is secular. So it's um, not... Um, it's not religiously based. It's a secular government. Which of these is an example of equality in Australia? A and B. Men and women have the uh, same rights. Put that a tick. Equality. Same rights. Men and women. What is the first sentence of the citizenship pledge? This is one I didn't know until I looked it up. Uh, C. I pledge my loyalty to Australia under God. Okay, next page of questions is which of these statements about Australia's first inhabitants is correct? A and B, Australia's Indigenous people share common beliefs and traditions that still guide them today. Uh, what happened in Australia on the 26th of January 1788? And that's B again. European settlement started. And the next question, when did Euros European settlement begin? Well, obviously it began began on the 26th of January, but it began when the first 11 convict ships arrived from Great Britain. So it was a penal colony to begin with. And what is the name of the first 11 convict ships that arrived from Great Britain? And A this time A is the answer. It was called the First Fleet. who commandeered the first fleet of Australia and it's a again Captain Arthur Phillip was the was the commander of the first 
first fleet that came to Australia? That's a good question. Why did Great Britain send convicts to Australia in the 1800s? Um, I think it's C there. British laws were harsh and the jails could not hold the large number of people imprisoned for their crimes. And uh, I think if you, it's 1788 is significant because they were sending the convicts to uh, United States of America. Uh, but the uh, 1776 uh, independence for the USA means that uh, Great Britain didn't have uh, anywhere to send their convicts, so they thought that's uh, 1770 James Cook had found. Um, Australia for the British uh, Empire, and so they thought they'd start a colony uh, in 1788, and as a way of um, doing something with all their convicts. Okay, last question for this page. Who were the first large group of migrants not from Europe in the 1800s? And the Chinese. The Chinese came to Australia uh, around 18. Onwards in search of gold. That's when gold was discovered. I think it was 1851. Gold was discovered, and and everybody came from everywhere to Australia, including the China, people from China. How many mainland territories are there in Australia? And there are two two territories. We've got the uh, there's the northern. Australian Capital Territories, and there's just those two territories, six states and two territories in Australia. Ah, oh, here we go, the states, with what, next question, what are the states of Australia? Uh, see there, New South Wales, Victoria, Queensland, Western Australia, South Australia and Tasmania. So I'll bring the map back. Tasmania, Victoria, New South Wales, Queensland, and then South Australia, and Western Australia, and they obviously had a bit of uh, creativity naming those eastern states, including Tasmania, but when they got to South Australia, Western Australia, they seems like they lost, lost a, a bit of uh, enthusiasm, they just, uh, oh, well, let's call it South Australia, because it's in the south, and let's call it Western Australia, because that's in the West. But anyway, that's, uh, that's the names of these six states of Australia. And another state question, which one of the following is the smallest of the mainland states? And Victoria is the correct answer there. And there we go, Victoria is that little small piece in the south. Question, what do people celebrate on Australia Day? Or they celebrate all that is great about Australia and being Australian. are 
Australia's national colours? This is a bit of a trick question because um, yeah, the uh, the actual answer there is green and gold. Now, if you most countries, their uh, national colours are featured in their flag, but not Australia because Australia likes to be different. Well, maybe not. Actually, the colours come. Probably from the wattle, the green and the gold of the wattle, wattle flowers, the gold and the, and the green leaves is probably where our national colours are. Oh, okay. And what is the colour of the wattle flower? And see, there we go. Put that photo back again. Gold and yellow is the answer for the colour of the wattle flower. What is the first sentence of Australia's national anthem? And uh, C. Australians all let us rejoice. For we are young and free. In the citizenship pledge, who do we pledge your loyalty to? You pledge your loyalty to uh, Australia. It's people, so not the Commonwealth, because the Commonwealth is the, uh, I'll push it up a bit, Australia and its people, the Commonwealth is all the other Commonwealth countries, but uh, you pledge your allegiance to Australia and its people. Uh, what date did European settlement start? C. 26 of January, 17.
enter why next question why is there compulsory voting in australia and i never actually knew the answer to this until i started researching this australian citizenship test and uh, here we go compulsory voting is a way to make sure that uh, the people we elect are really the ones that the majority of the people want so that question goes a bit off the screen there but so it's actually saying everybody gets a say in who's elected i suppose it's the short way of saying that who elects the members of the Australian House of Parliament? So it's a democracy, so the Australian people elect the uh, members of the House of Parliament. Okay, one more page over and done with. In Australian politics, how can you raise matters that concern you? that issue or you can write him a letter. How can the constitution be changed? They're going to be changed through a special vote called a referendum. So the Australian constitution started in 1901 or was uh, written for 1901 for federation and it set down all the rules that um, you know govern the uh, democracy of Australia and so from time to time they have referendums mostly most of them aren't uh, they aren't successful but they have those uh, referendums from time to time how many representatives from each state are there in the senate and there's 12 and that's set out in the constitution that so even a small state like tasmania a small population it will have uh, 12 people the same as new south wales so that's uh, it's a state house and every, every state is equally represented set out in the Australian Constitution. How many representatives in the Senate? Uh, next question, which of these is a responsibility of Australian citizens aged 18 years or over? And vote in elections is a responsibility. And the next question, which of these is a responsibility of Australian citizens aged 18 years or over and C to serve on a jury and uh, well it's uh, had a couple of goes on a jury and boy it's uh, it's a bit like watching paint dry it's pretty slow slow days a lot of sitting around watching TV waiting for you waiting to get called into the court and then uh, out for lunch uh, yeah, watching TV again and trying to make small talk with other people that uh, are pretty sort of cagey about who they are and uh, where they, what they're doing. How many important sections are there in the Australian Aboriginal flag? And there's three. And so black, red, yellow, three important sections. Black man on the red ground. Sun dawning on a new day for Aboriginal Australians. Where is the Southern Cross located in the Australian National Flag? Southern Cross sits on the right. So bring the Australian flag over. And the Southern Cross is a star, a group of stars that you see in the southern sky. Um, sailors would use them to point the way south or Southern Cross would show them which is uh, where the south is. It always seems to point to south. And uh, so it's there featured on the Australian flag on the right hand side. I think it might be on the New Zealand flag as well. That's the Southern Cross. Okay, one more page. Finished. Citizen, what song? What song do you sing in public and advance Australia Fair? So, nearly every uh, major.
major sporting event. Uh, the, uh, every, uh, there's Iver Singer in the middle before the game starts. The, uh, yeah, the crowd stands and sings, takes off their hats. And the players, some sing and some don't.